Hi everybody and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be talking about root access. Um, I just installed this operation system. Um, I never tried before and it comes with KDE Plasma. Um, but one thing that I noticed straight away because I wanted to block a few, well in this case ignore a few packages and when I try to go to etc and get root access, I realized that no way I, in this file manager I can find root access. So because I don't use KD in a long time and the file manager like this one also, I decided to do a little bit of search on the internet and there are many options which I advise you not to follow because the best way to get the information that you need is from the source meaning from the people who build the operation system so that's what I'm gonna do to get the root access to any part of the directory my suggestion to you so that you can see for yourself is let me just increase this um, the size so I'll do sudo dolphin which is the file manager if I press enter I have to put my password and then I get this message that comes from the source so that is a reliable message from the people who built the operation system and in here you guys can see that if you do some tricky stuff uh, or try to follow the wrong path you can cause bugs and to be exposed to security and which is very normal to happen because there are many ways to do that I even did myself one that when I used to use the KD and it was Dolphin also so I used to use one but it was a different operation system and different kind of um, tricks to do that but in here, as you can see here, it says instead install Q, Q admin. So Q admin is what we need to install to avoid all the hassle and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do sudo. So do pacman space dash s and then I will install that. So I'll press enter and now it tells me. As you see, it comes from the source. So I just put yes and enter. I shouldn't have done with this open, but anyway, it should be fine. Let me just open, not, not that. Let's see if I do that. As you can see now, open as administrator. So now, if I want to open and make changes, I can do that. It gives me a new window with a password that I need to put it. So I put the password and now I have root access in this window, not on this, but on this one here. So this one, we can close it. So from here, I can go anywhere and make the changes. And for instance, um, let's see Pac-Man pacman.config and I click it 
now he wants me to put the password again to open the text editor here you can do a lot of stuff you can make it no package for instance what i done in the beginning it was the k wallet i really don't like this application for, for some reason even in the past when i used to use kd i never like it so what i done is ignore the package uh, this probably i should do another video to explain probably if you guys are interested yeah let me know and i just add the applications that i don't want to install but to do that uh, there are two ways to install this operation system one is by being online so meaning that every single application that you're gonna install is gonna be updated so you don't need to update after reboot the other one is offline which i chose this one because i wanted to remove some stuff like for instance the k wallet because if i would have done the update but the time he reboot and i want to remove it he wouldn't allow me i would have to disable well in the past you could do that i don't know if we can do anymore but yeah so now you know how to do it in a safe way and i hope this helped you guys who need it and i'll see you guys next time until then goodbye